Before I ask my first question, there is a short TikTok that I want to show you guys. And from that, I'm going to ask my question. I make very, very good money. And she says, the only thing I need now is a man. <laughs> it's like, yo, like, <laughs> it's like, who wants you? Who wants you? you you're right. right. Like, once you have achieved these things, you have unfortunately disqualified yourself. Ooh, and, and, shit. And what it is, is these, because I, and this is the thing, I'm not blaming Ooh, the, the women. The women are going to hate him for that I shit. No, no, see, they are going to hate him for that. They, they I can't wait to put this shit out. <laughs> All right, so my question to you all. So we've got black women are now more educated than the black man, although um, it's about even as far as the income. We're more educated. We're putting more into our beauty. We're you know, becoming more self-conscious. And I'm wondering, based off of the video we just saw and some of the conversations I've had, why do you all typically feel as if this is not enough or if this disqualifies you? Who wants to take that first? <laughs> That's for <Rashad>. sure. <laughs> Uh, so I don't mind speaking. Uh, honestly, I don't think it disqualifies the black woman um, once she educates herself or puts herself in a position or a better position. Um, to me, what disqualifies her is what she looks for in a partner. You know, just because you did those things doesn't mean you always have to go out and find somebody that does the same thing or you can't always look for someone to make the same amount so pretty much what i've seen is women that make that money they'll come and say things like well i don't need you i make my own money and it's like well go be by yourself then so <laughs> that to me is what disqualifies them once they get to a certain status mm -hmm. mm, so because they feel as if they don't need you right is what disqualifies them okay right. uh ht I can definitely understand the sentiments of that individual who uh, made that statement. Um, okay. And I'll, I'll, I'll say that because more often than not in today's era, modern women do have a tendency to prioritize money over the qualities of a nuclear family, over the qualities of um, making sure that they position themselves to serve as um, available for uh, a man. And when let, let's be clear, there's nothing wrong with women making money and being successful in that exactly. regard. Again, the issue is prioritizing that over uh, the, the, the other qualities or rather the attributes that you're seeking afterwards. And because what happens is you play they have a tendency to place that dollar amount, that salary that they're making over over the heads of individuals that they uh that that court them and that seek them out and that's a problem um, and what you end up doing when you do that is you put yourself in the position of um an individual that is masculine and nobody wants to nobody wants to be with anybody that's looking to serve as competitive you know men aren't looking for somebody that's competitive in terms of um um in, in terms of somebody that's going to hang something over uh, our heads, whether that's directly or indirectly. So um, that's essentially but nowadays, what... you know, in 2022, it, it we almost require a, a two income household. So okay. is that any bearing? Not necessarily saying that we're in competition, but hey, we're saying I can contribute. Well, like I said, uh, not long ago, there's nothing wrong with uh, financial success when it comes to women acquiring that. Uh, at, but when you place that as a form of worship or um, a, um, 
a means to hang it over somebody's head, uh, a guy's head, that's when it does become problematic. And oftentimes that does happen in modern society. Um, yes, it does oftentimes take two incomes in order to sustain a household. It, it, it does in a lot of cases. Um, I will say with that said, I mean, what, what are the choices that are being made whenever something like that's taking place? So um, before I go any further, I'll let uh, Iceberg speak his piece because I'm sure I've said plenty <laughs> at, at this note. Iceberg, what do you got for us? Well, first of all, we love all the ladies. Um, <laughs> we're not bashing anybody. Let's be clear. This is just a discussion, first of all. So Absolutely. we love Agreed. our women, especially our black women. You know, shout out to y'all all day long. There is nothing wrong with women uh, taking care of themselves, prioritizing what they have going on, because a lot of times I'm 42, right? Something like that. So a lot of women that I'm around, they're already, they already have children from another relationship. They already been through a lot of things. So they're like, hey, I'm making sure I'm not making a mistake the second or third, fourth time around. Uh, I think the issue sometimes is you can't have two CEOs. You can't have uh, two VPs. You can't have two bulls in a China shop. So a lot of times um, some of the women that I've been around have had issues just with, I want to make decisions. And sometimes uh, wanting to do that sometimes basically puts the male in, in a perspective where he's not really uh, used to to being in or he can shine in. I don't think most men that are real men, and there's a difference between men and males. Uh, we're talking about men today. And huh, most okay. men have a issue sometimes about trying to drive the car from the back, from the from the back seat. And uh I think that's the most vulnerable thing a woman can do nowadays is to say, hey, I'm willing to allow this man to lead my family, uh, lead my children, discipline and uh uh invest in things that maybe I don't know about. And sometimes that's scary and I get it. Touche, touche. Um, as a f woman who was a leader in her own household and then got married, that was that was very difficult to- It's, it's scary, real talk. Like, I mean, it's really scary yeah. uh, to put all your trust in somebody, especially when most women anecdotally think all men are the same. Hmm. because they don't really understand like, Hey, this dude was raised over here. This dude was raised this way. And they really don't really um, know because most of the time, let's be clear. Uh, I came from the church. And so we went to church four times a week that we had classes on women and men and your roles. And, and then when I went out to the world, most of the people that I met male and female, they didn't know any roles. They just like, Oh, she looks good. Or, Hey, he's got money. Let's get together. But then after the wedding's done, what do we do? Hmm. So, okay. I think uh, something else I think about too, if I may, real quick, is oftentimes when when it's said that, hey, I've made my money, oftentimes that comes off as, as, hey, look, I've done everything else that it is that I'm seeking to do on this side of things, even though everything I don't have everything in life. I have all of these things in line. Now let me take care of this last. And by the time that happens, most men can't share any experiences with you that you haven't already gone through. Um, so that's what that also conveys in some cases as well. And it's not, it's not to say that as if, you know, we're trying to get our ego stroked or anything like that. Um, but if you but don't you want that, your ego stroked every so often? Uh, I don't, I, I think, you know, iceberg said it. I was, know, I would say you know, it's more desire than anything. W women want to be desired. I think it's a, it's a human thing. Men want to be desired too. 